Hello? Hi, this is Roy from... From which? The yes. symphony. You checked out some sheet music from us? I returned everything. I know. I didn't say you didn't. Okay. Okay, yeah. The, the sheet music, um, it was obviously used to, I don't know, to cut up your marijuana or something. Like, it smells really bad like marijuana. You know? What? Like and and you, um, I, I, you can't do that. I'm saying that you can't do that. You can't use our sheet music to do whatever it is you do with marijuana, because we don't use marijuana. That, I don't know what you're talking about. Then how come your sheet music that you returned it, it smells like marijuana really bad? I have no idea. Are you sure you're calling the right person? Oh yeah, definitely. You're the one who's. I can barely read your handwriting. And and like you can't even keep your phone well, number. What, is it, what it, does it say? It, I don't. We don't do that. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yes, you do. We no, don't we, use marijuana. Oh, the, you don't have to lie to me. Look, I'm not judging you. It's fine if you want to use marijuana. Look, look but, you jag off. Get off the phone. What? You leave her alone. Hey, are you the one that uses marijuana, sir? No, I'm not. And what are you gonna do about it? So so is it her that uses Fuck the off. marijuana? Is she the one that uses marijuana? No, she does not. Oh, she does too, because we can smell it on this paper that she turned in. It, it means shit. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Well, well, who? Where else did it come from? I know it came from Hello? your house, Bob Murphy. What? Ooh, when I get so hungry, Bob Murphy. I could almost eat a donkey, Bob Murphy. I really got to munch it, Bob Murphy. I want a lot of lunch for a sandwich or a Twinkie or something cold to drink it. Bob Murphy. No, you're supposed to say Bob Murphy. Who? Look. Bob Murphy. Who? Uh, no, look. Bob Murphy. Dummy. Bob Murphy. Dummy. Bob Murphy. All over South Carolina. Why, hello there. You're listening to The Snowplow Show, episode 428. This one is sponsored by Sim Speak. Thank you, Sim Speak, for being a supporter at patreon.com slash phone losers. And thank you to the new people who've signed up on Patreon recently, such as Garrett and Green Imp and Will and Gordon and Thomas. You guys are all keeping things moving along here, making me do way too many shows. I've already done two hobo sods this week. Like this episode I'm releasing today, I started working on it yesterday and I didn't get it finished. So yesterday evening, I did another hobo sod about cave neighbors, where I actually got two different people to go down in their basements and see if they could hear me knocking on the ceiling or, or on their floor. What are you doing? I'm going down in my basement. All right. Okay. I, I don't know where exactly. I'm. 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 Banging in the floor. Yep, yep. So that guy went down in his basement, walked around thinking I was in a cave underneath his house, listening for me to bang on his ceiling. And then the one I did on Monday was even better because it dealt with serious issues like bullying and homophobia. All right. And I hope you get over your homophobia. I hope you stop hating people uh, for no reason. Uh, I'm not hate. I'm not hating on no one. I'm just mad that you keep calling my phone. Well, I just I don't know. I thought it was kind of rude that you you're just such a, hom- a homophobe and everything and hate gay people I'm for not no a reason. homophobe I love gay people oh then why won't you make out with me you're so full of shit uh, because I, I don't even know you well that's how we get to know each other we, we meet up and we make out okay alright that's enough of that one can you believe that though in 2018 people are still like that and just a few days before that one I did one where I was uh, climbing up in people's trees and installing these giant microwave antennas in the top of their trees people didn't like that they were trying to tell me I couldn't touch their tree when their tree was older than they were like they have any authority over a tree that's older than they are so be sure to sign up on the patreon to get the extra shows every week patreon.com slash phone losers before we get started today I have a few announcements and some breaking news let's start with the breaking news breaking news everyone a man who escaped a mysterious fatal Bethesda fire has a checkered past and this sounds really boring, but the man in question is a guy that used to call into the phone show all the time. You guys remember the phone show, right? The call-in show that I did back in the early 2010s. Do you guys remember Skunk Works? He used to call in and talk about killing people and chopping people up with machetes and dissolving people in acid. So he's been in the news twice in the past few years. Uh, the first time he was doing a bunch of crazy shit at a university that he was attending, and I think he got kicked out of the university. But this happened back in September of 2017, and I just now heard about it. It says, 15 days after a deadly fire in a residential Bethesda neighborhood, police are continuing to watch the house around the clock. 
A man found dead in the basement of a home on Danbury Road still remains unidentified as investigators try to get to the bottom of what happened. Another man who was also in the house was able to escape from the fire. Several neighbors have identified him as Daniel Beckwith, the owner of the home. Beckwith is so well known in the world of computer hacking that he was invited to speak at two high-profile annual hacking conferences, DEF CON and SHMOOCON. And is he really that well known? I mean, anybody can speak at DEF CON and SHMOOCON. You just have to submit your papers, and if they like what you have to say, they'll let you speak. I mean, no offense, Skunk Works, I don't want you to come and dissolve me in acid or anything, but I only know a tiny percentage of the people that speak at DEF CON. Beckwit, who was an engineering student at the University of Illinois, got into some trouble in the winter of 2013. I can't remember if I talked about this on the show back then. I probably did at some point. According to the news reports at the time, he was accused of tampering with campus email accounts, damaging locks at one computer lab, and installing keyloggers on keyboards at another engineering building to access sensitive information. A few months later, he pleaded guilty to computer fraud and was sentenced to probation. So that was like a year after Laugh Track Matt met him at DEF CON. It was the DEF CON that I went to, but I had to leave uh, early Sunday morning, and Skunk Works talk was later that day on Sunday. So I didn't get to meet him, but Laugh Track Matt and Rob the Hyena did. Uh, Laugh Track Matt just posted a picture of them all together hanging out at DEF CON. He just posted that this morning. The article says that he changed his name from Skunk Works to Three Alarm Lamp Scooter. There's a Twitter account in that name. And the link on the account shows what appears to be an underground bunker. Oh my god, let's go look that up. There it is. It looks like he follows me on my personal Twitter account. And it's a locked account. This account's tweets are protected. Damn it. Shouldn't I be able to access these? Oh, I see, because I don't follow him. I'm going to click on follow. A request has been sent to 3 Alarm Lamp Scoot. But yeah, there's a picture. I don't think this is under his house. These are caves. Or something, I see water and stalactites or stalagmites, whatever the hell they're called. I don't think this is his underground bunker, but his description says he is very underground. Good one. Oh, and if you click on his Google Plus account, there's another underground picture. But it's pretty huge too, I don't think this is his. I think this is just what he was uh, working toward. Oh yeah, I haven't even gotten to that part of the article yet. Uh, Two sources familiar with the investigation say a bunker, or what might be described as a series of tunnels, were found under the house where a bed and a computer were set up. So Skunk Works actually had a series of tunnels underneath his house. I wonder if he got that idea from me and my shows. He probably listened to Too Much Snowplow Show and he's like, whoa, that's a great idea, I'm gonna do that. Beckwit was burned during the fire and neighbor says he appeared to be distraught when firefighters didn't pull the other man out of the basement alive. Those same neighbors say they have seen him in the neighborhood since the fire. Fox 5 has been trying to get in contact with Beckwit through email, telephone, and social media since the fire, but he has not responded to any of our requests for comment. No one has been charged with a crime related to the house fire. So he's been seen in the neighborhood, you guys. Does that mean he has, like, more tunnels somewhere else? Is Skunk Works actually living my fantasy of having underground tunnels underneath my house? Uh, Any law enforcement that happens to be listening to this show, I swear, that's just pretend. It's just my prank calls. I don't really have underground bunkers underneath my house. I haven't found any ancient scrolls or tablets or computer technology that looks like it's about 10,000 years old that drives the earth around. That's just pretend. I promise. And I'm sorry to kid around about this, Skunk Works, if you're listening. Like, you know, that's gotta suck. You apparently lost somebody in a fire. That's a bummer. Hey, if you want to do an exclusive interview with the Snowplow Show, you know how to contact me. But I wonder if there's any updates on this. I mean, this is back in September. Oh shit, we've got exclusive photos that show the tunnel inside the Bethesda home. And the photos are pretty much useless because they have a person in the frame of every single photo. Like, taking up most of the frame. Or is that just a picture of Skunk Works, maybe? In some sort of a gas mask. Oh, holy shit, I'm reading more of this article. I'm sorry, you guys, about this incredibly long intro, but the 21-year-old man that died in the house fire had been hired to work in the basement of the home as part of a deal with the homeowner, and they struck some kind of a deal where this guy agreed to come to his house to help him excavate the tunnels and the bunker inside of the home, and he was blindfolded before he was brought to the house every day so he wouldn't know where he was going. This guy thought he was going to a house in Virginia, Holy crap, Skunk Works. Yeah, I guess these pictures are of the guy that died in the fire. Oh, here we go. Here's something from November. Oh, wait, no, this is still September. It says that uh, chemicals were found. But I'm skimming the article, and I don't see what kind of chemicals they're talking about. Whatever, I'm done with this story. This has gone on way too long. That's just some crazy shit, though. 
that somebody that used to call into my show had underground tunnels underneath his house and blindfolded a guy that he hired to help dig the tunnels. So I've got a weird request here thing. It's like a big list of numbers. And it was sort of sent to me like two years ago, almost. In a few more weeks, it's going to be exactly two years. And I doubt this guy even listens to the show anymore. But he really wants me to do these phone numbers of uh, people who give um, piano and guitar lessons and stuff to kids. Or I guess not just to kids, but to everyone. And these are people who've posted on Craigslist ads to, you know, teach music. And his name is Ahim. Not sure if that's his real name. And he says these are all private instrument instructors who posted their numbers on Craigslist recently looking for new students. And by recently, he means two years ago, because it's taken me two years to get to this prank. I've been going through my prank requests lately, you guys, and I found some really old ones. And then I have the other email account, which I consider my personal email account now, before I moved everything over to my PLA account. And that's where this one comes from. It's from January of 2016. Usually they will either travel to the student's home or the student will come to their home. The first part of the list is near Detroit and the second part is East Texas. During school hours they're likely to answer most of their lessons are after school or they might answer late evening after their lessons. I imagine they're more likely to be confused or amused than angry but Detroit and East Texas are supposed to be among the angriest areas in America and that's where these numbers are from. If they refuse any of the weird requests in the idea list below, questioning their experience or ability, or I mean their expertise slash ability might make them upset. And he's got a list of ideas here, like, uh, you know, say this is my turf, you can't teach around here. Uh, say you're a nudist family and want to have the lessons naked. Say your kid's previous teacher was left-handed, so unfortunately your child learned the instrument backwards. Good one. Oh, and he sent me uh, some sound files of instrument playing. Like, he wants me to ask them what they think of the song I wrote and then play the attached mp3 of uh, Terrible Piano. Like, here, I'll play a couple of these. Just someone banging on the piano, I guess, you know. It's, it's abstract, you know? And then what else? We've got Terrible Guitar Playing. I could be like, wait, wait, no, I'll get it this time. We've got guitar smashing. I don't know where he got these sound effects. Maybe he did them himself. Ter terrible drumming. So yeah, I don't know where this shit's gonna go. It, it, <laughs> I don't know what, what I'm doing here. But I'm just gonna go down the list, call a few of these people, and see what happens. Hello. Hello, Terry. Yeah, hi. Hey there. I was calling about those piano lessons. Okay. Um, I see your call is from Pontiac. Is that where you live? Oh, no, no. I used to live there. I just kept my number. I, I live in uh, oh. Detroit. Oh, Detroit. Oh, I de definitely don't come in Detroit. I'm pretty much in the northern part of town, like, oh, oh let's see, Novi, Northville, Plymouth, Canton. So oh. I just never get out to Detroit. I'm so sorry. I was just but calling to make sure that you don't teach in Detroit because you know what? I teach piano in Detroit, and that's my turf. Yeah. And and you stay away from Detroit. Oh. Like you can't you can't. Oh God! I was do piano lessons. What do you, what do you think of? I'm well, not teaching your area at all. I don't want Detroit. No, oh, I was just making sure. What made you think I wanted your area? Well, I don't know. Yeah, well, what have you got not? against? What have you got against Detroit? Huh? I just don't teach in Detroit. It's out of my area. Well, you don't like Detroit? Well, shit, this says in Detroit, Mr. Ahem. What the hell? Hello? Hello? Yes. Oh, hey, is this Natalie? Yes. Are, are you still teaching piano in Warren? Uh, but not in Warren anymore. I'm in Oakland uh, County. I moved to... Uh, to Southfield, North Southfield, the west side. Oh, that's cool. I work Are there. You, I, yeah, I work in Southfield. So, oh, So, okay. yeah, yeah, I, I commute every uh, day. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Carl. Carl. Okay, Carl. Yep. Uh, you know what? Right now, I'm, well, I, I can't speak right now, but I can call you back later. Okay. Hey, um, are, are, do you teach kids or, or just adults or... 
No, I teach, I teach kids until 14, 15 years. Oh, so man. So you, you're looking for yourself or you're looking for your children? Well, I need piano backup for a, a song that I wrote. Can I, can I play part of it for you? No, I don't have time right now because uh, I told you I'm in the moment uh, to see my nephew. Oh, just, I'll just, call you back later. Yeah, okay? but just, just listen. Natalie, I, I can't. Natalie, I'd love to do you vaginally. Oh, shit. That wasn't a sound file that um, uh, a hymn sent in. That was a song by Hot Carl, some uh, musician I was into back in the early 2000s. And when I saw the name Natalie, I just had to cue it up just in case she would listen, but she's not interested in hearing it. Here, let's try her right back, see if she picks up. I really want to finish my song for her. I worked so hard on it. You have reached the voicemail. Oh man, she won't answer. I've tried several times now. Natalie's just not into my song. You know, if someone wrote me a song and, and called me up and tried to play it for me, I'd listen. What's she so busy doing? Hello? Hey, uh, I'm calling about the guitar lessons. You know the guitar lessons? Are you still doing guitar oh. lessons? Um, it's, it's, it's been quite a while since I posted that. Um, was this from the Craigslist ad? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Uh, you know, like oh, wow. when I go to Craigslist, my old cache is still up, and I, I think I haven't been on there for a couple of years now. That's, that's about right, yep. Um, yep. What, were you, what were you looking to learn? Uh, well, my kid is really bad. Like, I don't know if you can hear him here in the background, but he, he just, he's, like, sucks. He's, he's, uh, eight years old, and he got a guitar for Christmas, and it's pissing me off. Like, got you. Hey, do you know how to play, uh, Speed Kills by, uh, Michael Angelo Batillo? Um, I, I, I am not that proficient in lead guitar. Oh, yeah, it doesn't um, sound like it then. You know, you, you rudimentary acoustic chords. And all yeah, that. yeah. How are you going to teach anyone if you can't even play that? You fucking noob. I know. I know. I, wow. I'm kind of a chump. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Oh, my God. I can't believe I even called you at this point. Yeah, I know. Um, you, you have a really good number, though, of 420-6969. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I got that uh, personalized from the phone company. It's my, What's uh, your name? Uh, my name is Kevin. Kevin. Yep. I'm 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 glad to to uh glad to speak, Kevin. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm not. I mean like you, you just sound like a shitty guitar player if you can't even play speed kills. Yeah, I I'm really not that good, to be honest. It was more of just, you know, for beginners that want to learn acoustic chords. Yeah. Know. It's like you're trying to scam people on Craigslist. You're one of those scammers. Yeah, I I, I actually might be at this point. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm reporting your ad. I'm I'm clicking on the report button on Craigslist. Hey, can you tell that girl in the background to shut the fuck up? Oh, wow. Um, I'm actually by myself. Well, it doesn't sound like you are. It sounds like you have an annoying female in the background that doesn't know how to keep her mouth shut. It's because I'm haunted. Oh, okay. It's actually the ghost of all my uh, failed guitar students. Wow, you don't have a sense of humor either. You can't play speed kills, and, and you suck at humor. I'm just, I am not funny at all. All right, well, uh, you know, thanks for wasting my time, you big scammer. No, I, pr I appreciate you, Kevin. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I think he was lying to me. I'm pretty sure I heard someone in the background there. And I'm not sure these are going to work out that well. I kind of want to just call a few more people named Natalie at this point, because I have the song all queued up about Natalie. I wonder if I can get on Craigslist and just search for the name Natalie and play Natalie for a few people before I shut down this file. It's a song about Natalie Portman, by the way, and it's not my favorite song by Hot Carl, but for some reason it just seemed fitting at the time. Yeah, here's one. Here's a Natalie looking for a roommate. You have reached... Natalie. Ah, oh, come Please on. Please leave your message. Damn it, Natalie. I want to serenade a girl. This is Natalie. Oh, hey, Natalie. Uh, I'm calling about that She-Ra Princess of Power castle thing. Have yeah. You, ha have you sold How you doing? Hey, you're pretty good. Have you sold that yet? I haven't. Oh, awesome. I've been busy with the holidays, so I haven't. Oh, yeah. Haven't yeah, same here. Yep. Uh, is it still 100 bucks then? Yeah. Um, 
I mean, you can take a look at it and see what you think. I looked at eBay for the pricing. Some of them are going for like 300 bucks. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, oh but, yeah, I can imagine. Um, Seems like a good deal. It's, got a, it's a pretty full set. The there, It's missing like one clasp on the castle mm-hmm. to close it. I have one of them. Um, ah, that's no big deal. And then... What's that? I said that's no big deal. The the whole cl- the oh, class. Oh, I said that's a big deal. I'm like, well, you're a collector. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just missing like one of the clasps, and then um, some of shut. the furniture is not broken, but it needs to get like glued back together because they don't hold w- anymore. Would you be willing to trade anything for it? Uh, what do you got? Uh, I'm a musician. I could write you a song, maybe. What do you what do you want with a She Ra Princess of Power pack? Oh, I just you know, I collect things like that from that era, you know, back in the eighties and everything. Totally. That's pretty rad. Get my guitar well, out it's here. It's kind of like I'm just trying to recoup my losses from Christmas. Ah, uh, yeah. So yeah. I'm totally willing to take an offer on it, but Okay. Um, all right. Um I'm I'm just this is just off the top of my head, so keep that in mind. Here we go. I'd love to do you vaginally I'll wait until we actually meet And that is when you'll go down on me I really hated Mars Attacks And every new Star Wars is back I'd love to enter you from the back From the back That's hilarious. What do you think? Is it a trade? <laughs> I think you're a gifted musician. Oh, thank you. That's it, so sure. nice. Is it like? Would you say it's worth a hundred dollars? Like worth a a Shira castle? Probably not, dude. Shit. I gotta pay for my kids' Christmas. Here, I'll, I'll keep going. I'll keep going. Natalie, I gotta go. Natalie, I'm busy. Jewish, and that is why naturally we should phone. But actually, I'll take a hand job. Aww. She left. She hung up. Man, some girls just don't appreciate romance anymore. You know? Oh no, here's a dress for sale. What am I going to say I need a dress for? It's a formal dress. It's a black dress. $20. This isn't going to work out. Maybe I should just call her up and play the song. Without explanation. Your call has been... Okay, she's not picking up. Thank God. Probably for the best. Oh, here we go. Roller skates and protective gear for roller derby. Natalie sounds like the name of someone who does roller derby, doesn't it? Wow, she's selling all this stuff. Oh, for $180. Her, her ad is very misleading. She put $20 in the title, but it's actually 180 She's one of those people. $20 is just the price of one of the things in this gigantic list of things she's offering, like the elbow pads or something. Hello? Hi, Natalie? Yeah? Hey, I was calling about that roller derby equipment that you got for sale. Is that still available? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. What's so funny? Nothing. I, um, it just was like a blast from the past. Are you from Libby? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just now getting into roller derby and just looking for some equipment. I've got kind of a small frame. I think this stuff looks like it'll fit me. Okay. No, I didn't, I didn't mean to, like, sound, it just, I grew up in Libby, Montana. I mean, I didn't grow up, but I was there a lot, so, um. Oh, yeah, oh, because my phone number, I see. I was wondering how you knew that. Yeah, no, um, yeah, it's still available, and so are you looking for all of it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I could take the whole thing. Uh, would you be willing to trade for anything, or, or are you just pretty pretty, pretty much set on the cash? Um, trade as far as what? Uh, I'm a musician. I could, uh, sing a song. I could write a song for you. <laughs> that would be nice, but I think cash at this point would be probably better. Okay, well... Can I try at least? Like, don't record this, okay? I'm just doing this off the, off the top of my head. Natalie, Natalie, I'd love to do you vaginally. I'll wait until we actually meet. And that is when you'll go down on me. I really hated Mars Attacks. And every new Star Wars is... There she goes. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I give up on this. This is ridiculous. What am I doing? Let me get back to this music list. Hello. Hey, I'm calling about the the guitar lessons. Yeah. You, you still doing those? I am. Okay, great. Hey, um, you wouldn't um, be interested in joining a band, would you? <laughs> Who is this? Uh, my name is Roy. <laughs> oh, I thought you're a buddy of mine messing around or something. Oh no, no, I'm completely serious. I just uh, 
you know, I, I've I'm, I've got this one piece I'm working on. This is this right here. But uh, you know, I, I I need like just someone to play bass maybe. And then and then I've got the piano here. But we don't have a bass. We don't have any bass. We've got the, the drums. Hey hey, kid, play the drums. <laughs> Pretty, pretty awesome on its own, but it, it just needs bass, you know. Uh, who's playing drums? Uh, that's my son. He's only eight, but he's getting pretty good. Do you do drum lessons by chance? No, I don't. No, I don't. Ah, crud. But um, no, I, I'm not. I have no. I have no interest in joining a band. But, uh, <sighs> All right. I do give lessons if you're interested. On would, guitar. Would it be weird if I um? I have a lot of guitars. Would it be weird if I smashed my guitar after every lesson? Cause yeah, I'm, as long as you do it at home. I'm pretty much... Well, I do. In fact, I was getting... I was going to wait until we hung up, but you insist. I'm smash the shit out of this right now. That's cool. Yeah, there we go. Fuck this. Hey, listen, I got to get going, man. I'll see you. No, come on. Don't be jealous that I'm a real rock star. <sighs> All right, okay. Hello. Hello, Natalie. Yes. Hey, um, I was wondering, like, I'm trying to start up a band, and I need someone to do piano accompaniment on a song I wrote. Uh, okay. It's Carl. It's you. Oh yeah, it's me. It's it's me. It's Carl again. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. I, I wrote this song. You know what, Carl? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm very, very busy, oh. and my uh, my. You know, schedule is booked, and I don't have time. I, I'm sorry. But I think, like, if okay. you heard, if you hear the song, you, you'd change your mind. Like, here, I'll I'll play a little bit of it for you. Natalie, I don't Natalie, have time. I'm sorry. I'd love sorry. to I, I you eventually. But I, I, I'll wait my until we actually do. Yeah, but and that is just, when you go uh, down on me. I, all right, no, that was. Uh, it, it's the next day, you guys. Like through the magic of radio, people stopped picking up, so I just kind of gave up last night. It's now the next day. And Natalie picked up again. I thought after she had a little bit of time to sleep on it, she would change her mind. But no, she's still not interested. Damn it, Natalie. Hello, you've reached the and Bill the music lessons. Please leave a message after the tone, and we will... Re Hello? Hello, Bill? No, you got the wrong number. Ah, crud. No, no, I don't. Come on. This is Bill, right? Nope. I called a minute ago and I had your answering machine. Who, who are you hiding no. from? Why won't you admit that it's you, Bill? It's not Bill. It's It's cool. I'm just calling for music lessons. That's uh, that. That's so weird, you guys. All I did was hit redial. A minute ago, his machine picked up and it was totally Bill. I'm going to leave that in the show. I'm not going to edit it out. So you guys will believe me. You're going to know I'm not crazy. But I was calling him yesterday as well. Maybe he called the number back and, and he decided to... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm calling from some psychopath's number. Holy crap. What the hell was that about? All right. Here's someone that uh, teaches organ for the church. And their, their name's Maestro? No, it's not. Come on. It's not Maestro. <laughs> this person's full of shit. What? I actually reached Maestro or, or someone with uh, some weird personality disorder, I guess. Name's not Maestro. Okay, so that was all of Michigan. So it looks like we're moving on to East Texas. Apparently the other angriest area of the United States, according to Ahem. Hello. Hey, Rich. Yes. Hey, uh, you do those drum lessons, right? I do. Oh, okay. Hey, I, I'm, I'm a drum teacher here in Plano. Okay. And I heard from one of my students that you've been talking shit about me. You got I don't even know you. I know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know you either. Why would you be talking shit <laughs> yeah. about me to your students? There you go, dude. There you go. I have no clue who you are, sir. Well, uh, do, do you have and a... I have, a and I haven't talked... I wouldn't talk shit about any drum teacher, let alone... You. Well, it seems like you're getting awfully defensive. Are you sure you're not talking shit about me to your students? Okay, is this a joke now or what? No, it's uh, it's not a joke. Do, do you know? Do you have a student named Chad? 
No, I do not. Or did you in the like not too you know in the past? Because I don't know. Chad told me you've been talking shit about me, and I don't think Chad would lie. Look at okay. This is obviously a joke, so I'm gonna. I don't joke. I I am not a jokester. I'm a Christian. I'm a music teacher. Time up. I told. I already gave you an answer. Okay, but okay. You know what? I I I have no business talking shit about any drum teacher, let alone you. Okay, I'm not. I don't even know you. Yeah, I'm. I'm not talking shit about you. You know, I'm more mature okay, than that. All right. I'm, I'm more mature. So then we're than, through then. Okay. I'm more mature There's than. No need for this conversation I'm anymore. Correct. More mature than you are. I don't talk shit about other teachers. Try to make okay, them good. look Which, bad. Is there any reason we should continue this conversation? Well, do you think you could just apologize for talking shit about me? Okay, get a life. Uh, you get a life. <laughs> Holy crap, you know what? If he wasn't talking shit about me, he wouldn't have gotten that defensive. You've reached the voicemail of Donnie composer and music educator. For information on ordering Darn sheet it. music or to sign up for new music lessons, please visit... He's selling pirated copies of sheet music on the side, it looks like. Hi, and thanks for calling Becca Bell's Music Studio and Becky the Bookie. I'm unavailable right now Becky to the take bookie? your call. But the Holy tone, crap, these music people are shady. I bet this next guy is going to be a, a music teacher slash loan shark. Hi, uh, it's Joe. Leave a message at the tone. Thanks. Yep, yep. That, that guy's a loan shark, you can tell. Just listen to him. Hello? Hello, Shelly? Yes. Hey, um, I was interested in piano lessons for my son. Yes. And are, are you still doing that? Yes, I am. Oh, okay, great. Um, what, what's your rates like right now? Um, is he a beginner or? Uh, he, no, he's actually been playing for about four years now. Uh, he's uh, eleven years old, and uh, started when he was seven. He's pretty good. Oh, okay. Uh, then you probably want an hour lesson. Yeah, something like that sounds good. Yeah, I've got an. I'll give you a discount for thirty-five. Cool. Hey, um, the thing is, though, like, uh, he's uh, he's mostly, um, you know, our last teacher, they uh, taught him here in the house, and mm-hmm. the, the piano stool, it only seated one person, so the teacher would sit on the stool, and he would sit on top of the piano and play from uh, up on top, you know, it was an upright, so he only knows, yeah. he, know, he only knows how to play backwards. Is that going to be a problem if he, like, sits, oh. sits on top of your piano and plays from that direction? Okay, you're messing with me now, right? No. No, why, I, why would I do that? Well, that's crazy. Well, no, it's just it's just the way he learned how to play, and that's just how he does it. I figure, you know, like if he becomes like a famous pianist or something, that'll help him stand out. If he likes it's on... How'd you get my name? Uh, on Craigslist. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, Is so is that a problem like you, you would just have to clear off any stuff you have sitting up there on top of the piano he's not gonna play from sitting on top of the piano no that's how he does it it's cool that's how he does it okay well do you prefer to um have him come to your house or, or would you come to our house how does it work <coughs> everybody comes to my house okay <coughs> oh man hope, hope you don't have anything contagious there he he's a sickly no, boy. I've had for a while. Oh, I see. Allergies. Do you have like a lot of stuff on top of your piano? Do you have an upright or, or like a big grand piano? I have an upright. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem then. That's that's what he was uh trained on here at home is an upright. He just needs to sit on top. That's all. Okay. Like he's been playing for four years. He's pretty good. Uh, hey boy, play something. See, see, this, this is—he's up there right now. There he is goes. Is he a special child? Uh, oh, yeah, I think he's very special. Look, listen, listen to that. We, we sent in like uh, compositions of his to, uh, you know, like movie studios, hoping they'd hoping they'd use it in their movies and stuff. But we haven't gotten any callbacks yet. I figured we just need to keep practicing. You know? Okay. <laughs> yep, yep. So he's just going to... Well, he's probably, 
Huh? He's probably going to need to learn the traditional way. Oh. That's what everyone tells him. But you know what? I'm, I'm just like, you know, follow your heart. Do it how you want to do it. He wants to sit on top of the piano and play from, from the top. He likes playing upside down. Also, he's left. Is this a prank call or something? No, it's serious? not a prank call. It's actually, he's left handed, so this works out perfectly. Okay, well, I'm getting ready to go to work right now. Uh, Where do can you... I call you back? Do you want to set up a time to meet or what? Sure, yeah, we could do that. Where do you work at? Uh, I work in Richardson. Where? I'm a hairstylist. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Just kind of do the piano thing on the side. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have a lot of stuff on top of your piano or, or like pictures on the wall? Because he usually puts his legs up on, you know, up on the wall and like kicks at the wall while, while he plays. You might have to work the pedals for him. Okay. All right. Uh, you can call me back for an appointment if you want. Okay. Sounds good. And you said it's like a, a fi- uh, $12 an hour then? $12. Okay, no. $12. Sounds perfect. I'll call you back for an appointment. Uh, I guess like be $35 later. An hour. Oh, 35 Okay. Yeah, for an appointment. I guess like later. Oh, 35 for like three weeks? I mean, three hours? One hour. Four hours. Okay. All right okay. then. <laughs> she hung up on me. She doesn't appreciate my math abilities. Ahim told me to say that the previous teacher was left-handed, so unfortunately my child learned the instrument backwards. But I was thinking if he sits on top of the piano, then the left-handed thing wouldn't matter, right? I'm pretty sure that's how that would work. Oh, this next lady's name is Beatrice, and she plays piano, or teaches piano. Doesn't that sound like a piano teacher's name? She does piano and voice. Maybe I could get her to sing Go Away PLA or something. Or at least get her to admit that she was talking shit about me to one of her students. Hello. Hi, is Beatrice around? Uh, may I ask who's calling, please? Uh, this is Roy. I was calling about um, piano lessons. Oh, I'm sorry. She doesn't live there anymore. We live in Georgia now. Ah, balls. Yeah, balls indeed. <laughs> I'm oh. sorry. Okay. Well, I'm sure. Did... Where did you get her number from? Because we should take that down if, so that more people don't get let down. Oh, it was posted on Craigslist just last night. Oh, Gosh, I'm so sorry. We'll, we'll take it down. Okay. Good luck in your search. Oh, thank you. Hey, hey, uh, is she there, though? Yes, one second. Okay. Hello? Hey, Beatrice? Hi. Hi. Hey, um, I'm, I'm looking for a um, background vocal accompaniment on a song that I wrote. Do you think you could just sing it over the phone real quick? Um, <laughs> just, just, I, don't, I don't know... Wait, I'm not sure what you're asking. No, like, like, what would I- <laughs> like, just um, you know, if it sounds good, then I could have you record it and email it to me or something. Could you just sing real quick? Just sing "Go Away, PLA." It'll be, um, it'll be fun. I, I don't, <laughs> it'll be fun. I don't know if I want to do that. Come on, <laughs> d- don't don't be shy. Um, I actually um have to get ready to go somewhere. Uh, I'm not, not just saying that. Yeah, oh, really yeah, right. Come on. Yeah, the last lady I talked to, <laughs> no. she told me she worked or something. I'm like, yeah, right, woman. Well, I actually, my husband and I are going to um, a doctor's appointment. So. Okay, but yeah, in the, t- <laughs> in the time that you told me that, you could have just sang real quick. Just sing, go away, PLA. I'm sorry. I don't really feel comfortable and, doing and that. Do, do it in any key you want. <laughs> I'm not really, it's, no, I'm Oh, don't, don't be shy, I, Beatrice. Come on. No, it's okay. Please. I'm, I'm sorry. Good luck with I, your... <laughs> I, I, made, I spent all this time look, looking for Craigslist, and I, I'm calling long distance. The least you can do is sing. Just just sing real quick. Go away, PLA. I'm sorry. No. Good luck. Prefer, preferably <laughs> in a minor no. key. No, thank you. Please. Ah, oh, damn it. She sounded way too young to be named Beatrice. And that was weird. She was supposed to be in West Texas, but she had a Virginia telephone number. And they moved to Georgia. Of course. Come on. Hello? Hello? Hey, I'm calling about the guitar lessons. Hello? Oh, sorry. Not doing that anymore. Why not? What happened? What made you stop? Uh. Uh. Huh? This economy. 
the economy? Oh, come on. Like, if uh, what? You mean it's it's doing really good, so you don't need the extra money now? Yeah. Uh, I'll, look, I'll pay you triple. I, it's a it's a special <laughs> special request. It's a special thing that's going to be happening. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> you can't say no to that. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Oh man. What, what did you, did you just suck at guitar? Like, is that the problem? Uh, po- possibly. No, I don't know. I just I started doing another another gig and don't have the energy. What kind of gig are you doing? Is it that you just couldn't play uh, "Speed Kills" by Michael Angelo Batillo? <laughs> oh yeah, really? Jeez. Yeah. Uh, the two-headed guitars. Yeah, I couldn't do all that five finger tap stuff. Yeah. It's not that hard, really. Put your mind to it, you know. But I guess yeah. you're just not cut out for guitar. Yeah, guess not. Ah. Guess not. God, what a, what a what a waste of time making me call you, putting a Craigslist ad up, and then saying you don't want to do it anymore. Cra- Craigslist ad? There shouldn't be any ads up. Yeah, you just put it up. There's t- an ad on Craigslist. Yeah, just two days ago. Like, wh- why are you posting on Craigslist if you don't want to teach anymore? <laughs> Yeah, I guess I need to look at that. Maybe I need to look at my uh, my account. Hey, could you stop? Could you stop doing shit there in the background? It's really noisy, and I can barely hear you. <laughs> quit, quit shuffling yeah. shit around. God damn it! <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate the notification. Okay. Hey, do you? That's, uh, uh, that's going on. Do you have I'll your? Look into it. Do you have your guitar nearby? Can Can you play something for me, just real quick? Like you know, just just a quick. Please. Sweet just, child of mine, what you want to hear, man? Yeah, Can yeah, I, sweet child of mine. That sounds of perfect. <laughs> and that way, I I can right, apologize to you. Have a good day, man. Oh, no, come on, I just just go. play it, just just a little bit, just you know, just a, thirty <laughs> seconds, please. All right, man. Please. Take care. Please. All right. I'll sing it. I'll sing it if you play it. <laughs> what are you? What are you shy or something? Oh, there he goes. Come on, if you're a musician, you shouldn't be shy about singing and playing instruments and stuff, right? What's with these people? You know, I actually have no idea what Speed Kills is by Michael Angelo Batillo. I'm probably saying his name wrong, too. But a him told me to say that to him. I'm going to quickly uh, YouTube this song, see what it is. There it is. It's like five minutes long here. Yeah, pretty cool. I mean, yeah, he's he's going really fast there. But what kind of idiot can't play that? I, I don't even know how to play guitar, but I bet you I could pick up a guitar and do that. That looks easy. I'll have to put a link to this in the show notes for you guys. The person you are trying to reach is not accepting calls at this time. Please try your call again. All right. Didn't pay their bill, probably. Sorry, the number you have reached is not in service. All right, that person's dead. A him wants me to say it's uh, instrument lessons for my cat or my dog. That could be fun. I think I'm going to try that. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. All right, so we're all done with East Texas. Uh, Then he threw in some extras in here, which are just kind of from everywhere. I mean, the first few are from Texas, so that's good. I don't have to change my caller ID. Hello. Hello. I'm calling about the guitar lessons. Guitar lessons? Yeah. Uh... Where did you see those? On Craigslist. Wow. Uh, I not taught guitar in a long time. I can't even believe that ad was still up. Oh, well, I don't know if it's still up. It's just that, um, I don't know, about a year and a half ago, I got raided by the FBI, and they took my computers. And when I got my computers back, I opened it up, and it was still on that page that had your guitar lessons oh. on it. So. <laughs> yeah. I was actually searching um, for guitar lessons when they knocked at the door, broke the door down. So you, you don't te- um, teach? Uh, yeah, I don't give guitar lessons anymore, and I'm in Austin, actually. So, oh, uh, oh, that's cool. I, I'm actually in Austin, too. Really? I, I work here now, but you're not doing lessons? Okay. Um, I haven't in a while. Uh, I'm sort of really busy with school here. I see. Um, if you want to text me later... Um, we could maybe communicate about that. Okay. But yeah, generally right. I'm not really 
doing that anymore. Well, do you have a guitar nearby? Like, could you play something real quick just to, I, I can make sure you're pretty good? Um, you could kind just... of, well, I don't right now, actually, and kind of also extremely busy. Ah, you don't sound that busy. I mean, sounds pretty quiet there. Um, yeah, no, I'm pretty busy. Yeah. Um... I mean, you could just tell me yeah, you don't I, want to. Just say you don't want to. You don't have to lie. Come on. No, I, I'm not lying. It's just, uh, it's just kind of a, uh, not something I was expecting. But I if see. you want to, uh, you know what? Let me just text you later about the guitar lessons. Okay. And, uh, and we can go from there. All right. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. Viva la, la revolution. Goodbye. Yeah, sure, man. Uh, have a good day. You too. Hi, uh, Harina? Yes. Hey there. Uh, my name is Roy. I was calling about those piano lessons. Oh, okay. Are you still doing those? Uh, are you Are you looking for the piano lessons for you or for your children? Um, well, actually, I don't know if you do this, but it's for my cat. For what? For my cat. My cat already knows how to play a little bit of piano, but I'd like to start her, start her up on yeah? lessons. Yeah, my cat, my, uh, you know kitty cat animal yeah yeah an animal her name's bernadette i'm not teaching animals no Wh why not it's, it's you know what this is this is completely scammed you know i'm not teaching animals this is no she... I, I never heard that in my entire career okay? oh you don't watch youtube I then teaching, i am teaching just humans. no look i'm oh. teaching kids no look my cat can play listen listen right here listen that's, that's that's my I cat. Understand. My I'm cat. sorry. I am not teaching animals. That's it. Yeah, but like she, my cat's a genius. She she knows how to play already. She, I just want her to, to learn how to play. I I can't do that thing. This is this is. Are you are you kidding me? You can't or I, or I you won't. I am professional teacher with a bachelor degree. I am not going to teach you cat. Okay. But my cat is Thanks. the best keyboard player in the world. Wow, she takes her shit seriously. You like how I had YouTube all queued up there with the Keyboard Cat song? I thought that would be totally convincing, but nope, she's not buying it. She has a bachelor's degree, you guys. Apparently that makes her racist against, you know, anything that's not human. I bet she's gonna put like a sign up on her door next to the piano lesson sign that says no cats. Hello, you have reached the voicemail and texting number for Marsha Medley Piano Plus. If you would like me to return your call... Damn it, Marsha. Almost out of numbers here. This last person on the list gives accordion lessons. Hi, this is Michelle. Please leave your name, Damn it. phone number, and a brief message. No accordion lessons for us, I guess. And that's the end of this music list that was sent to me about a year and a half ago. I'm going to try and go through all of my old prank requests from my old email account and just kind of get through them all. Just either do them or delete them if they sound stupid. Like, right now I have 252 prank requests sitting in that folder that I have not touched yet. The most recent one is from August of 2016, and the oldest one is from November 7th, 2014. Here, let's see what that one is. This one's from Kelly. It says, Hey Brad, my parents go to blah 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 Baptist Church. Please prank call my mom, pretending you are from the church. She joined a library committee and the flower committee a few years ago and wants to quit, but she's too nice to do so. I should try that real quick. You know, before we quit the show today, just do one last prank. I bet this Kelly person wasn't expecting her mom to be pranked like three years later. She probably thought it happened in a month or two. Hello? Hi, Jeannie? Yes. Hey there, uh, this is Roy from the church from Brookwood. Yes, Hey, hey. how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Not too bad. Hey, just hang up the phone right now. Hang it up. Oh, okay. I will. You better hang it up, cause you know, just just oh, shit. She hung it up. Wow, she is an obedient mom, Kelly. Hello. Hey, it's me again. We just wanted to make sure that the phone was working and that it was hanging up properly. You know, we're setting up that new phone system here and everything. Oh yes. Okay. Yep. It, well, it I'm seem, glad to help. Seems to work a okay. Hey, we need to make sure the frequency range is okay on it. Like, can you talk to me in a really deep voice? Yes, yes. All right, go ahead. Deep, um, deep voice. I'm, Pretend you're a man. I, I, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. 
Do I need to talk low like a man? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Can you go lower? Hello. T- try, Is that tr- better? I don't know. That's pretty good. That's around that, s- 60 hertz there. That's pretty hear? good. Okay. Oh. Yep, yep. The frequency response is pretty oh, good there. Yes. Uh, now we need you to okay. now we need you to talk like a like a chipmunk. Like as high as possible. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. <laughs> she she hung <laughs> what the hell was that? She hung up on me. Like like I think she was doing such a high pitch that she uh, chipmunked in at twenty six hundred hertz. And it reset the phone company's equipment. That would be my guess. But, but wow, she <laughs> that was amazing. I need to do that to other people. I need to call them up, say, hey, this is your wireless provider. We need to make sure your phone's working on all frequencies. Oh, what the hell? I got some lady to make chipmunk noises at me. And you know what the best part is? Like, this Kelly person that, that sent this to me over three years ago, she probably doesn't even listen anymore, but now she's going to hear her mom talking about how the church called her and had her do this weird shit with the phone. And she's going to be like, oh, yeah, that old show. They finally got to my prank request. Either that or she's, you know, like not going to remember at all. Hey, Brad, it's Olga. Hey, Olga. So I'm sitting outside of my house because I'm locked out of my house Aww, right now. That sucks. I was an idiot and I went into the backyard. At least and you're in warm climate, right? I mean, you know, compared to other places. The anyway. lock, like, kind of turned a little bit when I closed the door, so I guess it locked me out. Uh-huh. So I'm just waiting for someone to come and open the door for me. And uh, so I guess I don't really have a joke. I'm just complaining about being locked out. Oh, you don't have to give so, a joke, you know, Olga. you don't ever hear from me again. I just got hypothermia and got locked out. Is it really that cold that's there? Why I'm no longer around. So, bye. Well, that sucks, Olga. I hope you don't die. She left that message just uh, one hour ago, and it looks like she is currently posting in the Discord. And I'm scrolling back. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it looks like she made it inside. So, yay, everyone. Olga is not dead. Congratulations, Olga, for being alive still. Hey, Brad. It's Will. I'm just checking in, y'all. Hey. Sorry. Just checking in on you. <laughs> okay, um, Will. I want to wish you a happy new year. You know, this year has been full of fun pranks. I yep. um, just wanted to ask you, what did you do during Y2K? Because uh, over here it was kind of crazy. So I don't know if you had some crazy stuff or you did some crazy stuff, crazy pranks. I don't know what you did, but what did, what what was your perspective on the Y2K situation? So, oh, the Y2K. Anyway, the, Happy New Year. The one that happened two or three days ago? Or are you talking about the, the actual Y2K? Like, I don't know. I shut down all my microwaves, turned off everything that had a clock on it, shut down all my computers, and I just sat there on my waterbed waiting for the world to end at 12 midnight on Y2K. Hey, Brad. Um, I'm sick. And I've been listening to your shows, and they've been making me laugh, and it hurts to laugh, so fuck you. Uh-huh. But on my serious note, Sucks I feel you. like that you've been posting a lot more recently. Yep. And the quality of your shows have gone up a lot. I need to get a life. And you've been through a lot this 2017. And I'm really appreciate it. I love you. Making everyone laugh Aww. and being a good person. And keeping through strong over the FBI raid and Thanks. other stuff in your life. It's all your guys' you. fault um, that I haven't quit. Laugh. And here's the 2018. Hope it's better than 2017. Bye. I hope so, too. I hope I don't go to jail in 2018 like I didn't go to jail in 2017. That was kind of the highlight of my 2017, not going to jail over prank calls. Hey, Brad, it's Nico. I'm just calling today to wish you a happy new year. I was just watching um, episode number 423 of the Snowplow Show, mm-hmm. Draw Summer, and I'm enjoying it. Anyways, That's I hope good. you're having a good day, and we'll talk to you later. It's Bye. been pretty great. Much better than Y2K. Holy shit, that was a mess. I usually don't even stay up for New Year's. I never have. But I stayed up for Y2K watching television, waiting for some crazy shit to happen. And I was so disappointed that nothing happened. I thought at the very least we'd get some crazy terrorist shit. But hey, it's nope. Hey, asshole Matt calling back. Uh, yeah, you guessed what your last name was going to be. Uh, I don't know why my phone just randomly cut off. It cut off, but whatever. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. So, Foking, P-H-O-K-I-N-G. All right. It's going to be my All new right. name. Happy New Year, bitch. I totally sound like a foe. That's going to be believable. It's about as believable as my last name being who. Hi, Brad. H- H-U. Power. So, recently, I'd inquired about the uh, Adopt-A-Road, Adopt-A-Median uh, pranks that you used to do. 
Mm-hmm. And you said you needed numbers and list them. And so you sent me I some, went right? Ahead and went online and compiled a list of uh, current mediums that are being adopted by Green Valley, Arizona residents. Uh, I went Yay. ahead and sent that list to you. Yep, so I got that. You asked and you shall receive. There Thanks, you know. Max Power. You're the best. Yeah, I got that list. I put it in my uh, request directory, the one labeled Good Stuff. I have like different levels of submission directories that I move the request to, and yours is in the Good Stuff directory, the one that I'm most likely to get to first. So those should happen soon. Thanks for sending those in. Hey, Brad. Uh, long-time listener. I don't really call them much. You can call me a Dink Dave, I guess. Hey, I Dave. I listened to your show, uh, episode 427. And you mentioned a town called Salina. Well, I actually live pretty close to there. Oh, my gosh. And you mentioned uh, another city nearby uh, named uh, Walpock. It's called Walpockanetta, not whatever you said. Just, just want to let you know, try to help you out. I know. All right, you have fun. You'd think I'd know that one because, you know, I lived there for, I don't know, at least a year and a half total between the two times I lived in Salina. And I've heard it said before, but, you know, that was back in the 90s. I don't know how to pronounce those damn Paris talk words. Hey, what's going on, Brad? Um, hey. One of your asshole fans. Dude, I uh, I was, like, listening to uh, your your shows recently. And I, I think you I got a say. good idea for some shtick. Uh, maybe it's not any good, though. Like, some situation where you can just keep fucking up somebody's name, like, Roy! Or, like, I but, mean, Bill? But, but you know, like, just, like, keep fucking up on purpose. Like, I don't know. Just try to make it, like, important when it's not important. Yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe this is a shitty idea. God, what a Wait shitty a idea. What, what the hell? Come on. Only call into the voicemails with good ideas. I always fuck up the pronunciation of people's names. And they correct me and I tell them they're wrong. But yeah, you're right. I should just fuck up the entire name. If they tell me their name's Susan, I should call them Dave. See how they like that. And wow, we're already to the end of the voicemails. I'm doing too many shows lately, so we don't have any voicemails. But that's okay, because I have some other stuff to play here. If you missed the the Madhouse live that uh, Carlito did and I was on with him, along with Dwight and Olga and Dom and Laugh Track Matt and... Who else? Who else was there? I don't know, XYZ was on for a little bit, but we were on for a good four hours or so, and a few good calls happened from that four hours, and I grabbed um, three of them out of the show. Hopefully Carlito doesn't mind too much, but uh, this first one is where we called a Planet Fitness, and we were trying to get him to set off the Lunk Alarm and have it happen right at midnight so, you know, we could ring in the new year with the Lunk Alarm going off, and it didn't exactly go as planned. Here's that call. Thank you for calling Planet Fitness. This is Wendy. How can I help you? Hey, Wendy. This is Steve Day from the corporate office with Planet Fitness. Yes. Hey there. Were you having problems with your computer there? We noticed we haven't gotten any of the lunk alarm reports coming in for like the the past shift. Okay. I am fairly new here. My name is Juanita. Oh, that's perfect. Um, I have no idea, to be honest with you. Oh. You said something was wrong with the computer? Yeah, well, it's the computer that runs the lunk alarm. Like, is your lunk alarm working? Because I think we're going to need to do a, a quick reset of the system. Okay, let me try. Let me try. Uh, okay, let's hear it. Let me try using it now. I just left the ladies' locker room. Have you had to use it today? No. Uh, when's the last time you had to use it? This, um, I haven't used it the, the, this ship. I came in at 10. Have you ever used it? And it's only yes, I used I used it before. What'd they do when you had to use it? Like what kind of stuff do they do? The huck alarm is that when the when they grab a machine? Yeah. And you have to yeah, the sound hunk- the alarm. Is that what you're talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah, the hunk alarm. Okay, hold on, let me. Ooh. It's 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 working. Okay, yeah, but it's not co- the reports aren't coming through in the computer. We're gonna have to reset it. Is there any way you could um? Like it's on a switch, right? You don't have to hold down the button? No, it's almost like a light switch. Just, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we just have to leave it on. It looks like, um, it, it, what time is it there? It's uh, 11.56. There 11.56. The, okay, we're going yeah. to have to um, just test it. I mean, we're going to have to do the reset, the reboot sequence. It's going to take about four minutes. Okay. Um, we just ha- You have to turn it on and leave it on and just let it run until the computer does the reset mode. Oh, my God. Yeah, it'll turn itself uh, off. It's fine. I don't want to fry people. There's only, like, two people in here. Yeah, they're used we to it. Right. They're, they're probably <laughs> they're probably lunks anyway. Okay. Chances are you probably would have had to use it. So you want me to just 
keep it on for just tell me when. Yeah, just turn it on right now. I'm 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 pushing the buttons on this end and just leave it on for at least four minutes and and it'll four minutes. Yeah, four minutes. Okay, they're on now. All right. Woohoo! Here we go. Hopefully, it doesn't burn out and, and catch on fire before New Year's. You know. You know? Hello? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, hopefully it doesn't burn out before the New Year's is started. Are you having a good uh, new, new Year's Eve? I can't. I'm sorry. I can't hardly hear you. What was that? Are you having a good New Year's Eve? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I'm bringing it in good with a new job, a new start, and a new healthy diet. But I've been doing that before the New Year. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh oh, I, I hear the frequency is going a little bit lower. This could be problem, pro- problematic. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't smell smoke, do you? No. Okay, is anybody looking uh, angrily in your direction? Sure, your tip is. Is is anybody what again? Looking angrily in your direction. No. <laughs> good, good. We don't want that. <laughs> Somebody can't kind of just turn his head for a second. I just That's gave him the okay right. sign and thumbs up. Oh no! Give him the 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 flipping the bird sign. Uh uh-uh, uh no no. <laughs> <laughs> say say don't no, no. don't give me those yeah, snake eyes, you the damn fruit. customer. <laughs> That's what I do. Anger. We're almost I there. I need to give him some of the ass. Did you hear that, ma'am? Yes. Oh, the answer is yes. Okay. It looks like we're halfway there. No, I didn't. I, I hear a bubbling. I didn't actually hear anything. I'm sorry. This is alarm. Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah, we're just ringing in the new year. Uh, how many minutes to until midnight? Okay. Is midnight almost there? One minute. Oh, oh, it's it's ramping up. <laughs> Any second, it's going to go... We got a three-way going on. Yeah, uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, crap. <gasps> I think New Year's is ruined. What happened? Did it turn off? Yeah, it turned off. I think it may have overheated. Darn. Oh, my goodness. We were so close. Overheated? Yeah. Yeah. How many minutes till midnight? Carlito, how are we doing on the on the time? Yes, uh, we're we're less than sixty seconds. One minute. Oh man, huh? Maybe if we wait a second and then do it again. Is there any customers okay. nearby that we could like talk to on the phone for a quick survey? A customer? Yeah, for the weekly customer survey, it's a thing we do. It's totally legit. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, bro! Happy New Year, y'all! <laughs> Happy New Year! Actually, Congrats, it's guys! Only two. It's only two guys. Actually, I think the other guy. No, there's two guys, and they both in their workout. Like maybe. Are they buff? Are they buff? <laughs> <laughs> this is a non judge. <laughs> we don't judge. I don't know. Yeah, but you know, like okay, like is the lunk alarm working again yet? Like maybe you could give me like two two lunk alarm sounds for yes, he's really buff. And one for no, <laughs> I totally would never fuck no. that guy. No. I don't know. I'm going to transfer you over to Matt. Matt's going to walk you through the new year. He needs to tell you Happy New Year. Somebody does. Uh, oh, hey, you at the Planet of Fitness there. How does it feel yeah. bringing the alarm there, dummy? <laughs> that was that. You just broke. Your alarm into your new yep. job. You're probably getting in trouble for that. Yeah, we're we're hackers. We just wanted you to burn out the alarm. <laughs> You're probably not, getting in trouble. We're not the corporate office. We're the inter- <laughs> we're the internet. <laughs> yeah, I would say I, we're you, anonymous. I would say you did not answer the phone. Happy New Year, 2018. Losing your job. <laughs> you get fired on I, your day off. As I always say, work is for suckers. Happy New Year! <laughs> Ghostbusters, when they jumped in, they say, Happy New Year! Are you there, honey? 
And yeah, we kind of turned into dicks there at the end, but it's okay because we called her back a couple hours later and made sure she was okay with the joke. Here's that call. Yeah, they're nice little Mexican boys. Dude. Yeah. Thank you for calling Planet Fitness. This is Wadi. How can I help you? Hey, uh, my name's Brad. I'm a prank caller. Remember that time I got you to set off your lunk alarm? Uh huh. Wasn't that funny? Is is Hello. it? Hi. Remember that time I got you to set off your lunk alarm? And it, it, it just kind of kept going until it stopped? Yeah. What are, like, looking back, do you see the humor in that? Somewhat. Was it a good way to ring in the New Year's? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, so what, yeah. That's cool. I'm glad you're, you're not upset about it. You're, you sound pretty awesome. <laughs> Is it working again? We're, I get. I'm, I'm. I'm not sure. I didn't try. I don't. I don't even want to try it. Oh uh, no! Let's <laughs> test it out real quick. Let's, we no. we may need you to go and reset some breakers. Oh, they got it. Is it working? They'll fix it. They'll fix. No, it's not working. They'll fix it in the morning. Oh, I think <laughs> it, it tripped a breaker. I think you need to go uh, flip all the switches. Oh my gosh! Not another break. Good night. No, Have a good day. no it's cool. <laughs> this this time. No, or not. We're for real this time. Oh, man. <laughs> this one's for true, yo. And then one other one. This one happened in between those two calls. This is where we called a Circle K. And I don't know what we were going for here, but it just got all weird and didn't make a whole lot of sense. And we got to talk to a supervisor. Circle K, everybody. Thank you for calling Circle K. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hi, Jen. This is Cross. I'm with the corporate office here with Circle K. I'm looking to do our monthly customer survey. Is there a customer oh. available I can speak with? Um, I'm actually on my 10 minute break right now, so I had to close the store. You had to close so the store? So there's no one in the store for 10 minutes. I'm making a note of this because that's, that's, that's crazy. Do you regularly have to do this? Uh, take a 10 minute break? Well, that's fine. You could take the 10 minute breaks per law, but do you usually have to close the store for your 10 minute break? Well, there's no one here until um, 11 o'clock. How often does this happen? Why do they leave you alone there like that? Um, because I don't know, we have short, we're not, I don't know, we're short on hours, I guess. Oh my goodness, that's not, that is not acceptable. How do you feel? How are things going there right now? Uh, are you being abused? Huh? Are you being abused? Abused? Well, just like, the, are they taking advantage of you? Do they run you down? I mean, are they um, stressing you out? Be honest with me. It's okay. You can be honest. You're not going to get in trouble. I'm writing it down. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't really... Not to not to be the type of person, but I just I don't really know who you are to be like giving out sort of this sort of information. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I can put you through to my supervisor. I'm with the corporate office, and and there's no reason they should be doing this to you, making yeah. you have to shut down the store and all that. I mean, they should yeah. be there somewhere, someone with they're helping you all the time. I'm gonna put yeah. you through to my supervisor because that's ridiculous. Here's Roy. I'm gonna transfer you through right now, Roy, and he'll help you out. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Just a minute. Thank you. I'm sorry to interrupt, Rick. Oh, hello, ma'am. This is Roy. Hi. Hi. Are you near the breaker box right now? The breaker box. Yeah. yeah. The circuit breaker box. Is, is are you like in the back? Well, yeah, because I'm on my break. Okay. Well, this is perfect. Oh, that's funny. You're, you're on your break and breaker box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I just, I, you know what the thing is, is though, is, is like, I don't know who you are, and this is the first time I've ever had this happen. I've been here for like three years, and I don't know if I'm supposed to be giving out information like this. Oh, over no, no, we're not trying to get information. Uh, we just, uh, you know, we're having problems with the computer. So if you could just uh, flip all the switches in the breaker box real quick. Um, uh, hold on one just second. Start I'm at the top. Work your way. <laughs> I'm sorry, just I just want to call him real quick. Call who? Oh, okay, oh. can you put him on speaker so we can hear? Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, I will. I'm okay. going to use my cell phone cool. to call him. Like I said, I'm on my break in the back. So. Oh, yeah, cool, yeah. Be more lulzy that way. Is it like pretty much like nonstop customers there? Is that why you have to shut the doors and go in the back? Yeah, yeah, because we're 24 hours. So. Oh, yeah. And like super busy, to, obviously, it's New Year's Eve. I would just like keep the doors open and when people come in, just stare them down until they leave. Like, just get, yeah. give them... Just, <laughs> I, we're not allowed to do like, that. <laughs> like, just sit back there and don't move. Just smoke a cigarette yeah. behind the counter. <laughs> do you smoke a cigarette yeah. in the back room? Huh? Do you smoke cigarettes in the back room? 
No. Oh, I would. Oh. Yeah, but you know, you're in the back room. Nobody else is in there. Just do it. That's what I would do. We're not supposed. To, we don't smoke. Well, I don't smoke, and I don't think we're supposed to smoke in the store. Uh, I would start smoking just for rebellion purposes. Because <laughs> you break. That's oh, what I would do. Oh my God, now it's ringing. Okay. I don't hear it ringing. Weird. Well, no, because I didn't put it on speaker yet. I was going to oh. put it on speaker when he answered. There's no point putting on speaker if he's not answering. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Is this your manager or the district manager? Yeah, it's my manager. Hey, while, while we're waiting for him to pick up, can we flip all the switches? I can't do that. I just don't know if I'm supposed to turn off all the power in the whole store. That resets our whole, like, oh. our registers and everything else. I haven't even closed. Then I won't be able to use the register. Well, we'll so that's why I'm calling my boss real quick to make sure that the, that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll turn on the backup machine from this end so no, none of the power will actually go out. Okay, well, can I just... I just, like, literally, we have a five-minute rule, and I just want to follow all the rules before I start like doing the, anything that like, you're asking me to do. Like the Rappy McRapperson song. Yeah, basically. 4260. 4260. And then what's the prefix? What? No, I was calling my boss. Oh, and then what's okay. the area code, though? Uh, Same area code as you? <laughs> Okay, you're just, okay, literally you're stressing me out right now. Can I, can you just wait two seconds so I can get my boss on the phone? Okay, all right. I don't want to stress you out on your break. <laughs> on your break. Hey, can I put you on hold for one second? Sure. I'm just going to put you on hold. You'll just hear hold music for one second. I got to adjust myself. Hey, hey, wait, he's here. Pussy good enough to eat. Pussy good, pussy sweet. Pussy good enough to eat. My pussy good. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Okay. Um, hold on one second. Let me put you. I'm putting you on speakerphone. So um, I have this because this guy is calling me. He said he's from the corporate office and um, he wants me to take like a like answer a whole bunch of questions and then he wants me to um, flip all the switches off in the store, like all the breaker switches off in the store, and then turn them back on. I can't hear him. Huh? Do it? Do it? You want me to do it? No. Oh, he wants to know, my boss wants to know why you want him to turn it off. Uh, tell him for the lulls. Because it'll be funny. Okay. So tell him because it'll be funny. Okay. Is this a prank call? Oh, no, no, I'm from the corporate office. Because it'll be funny, sir. Because it'll be funny. What's funny? It, it'll be funny. Like, if all the lights go... If all the lights go off, it'll be really funny. You know, it like... It is Happy New Year. Yeah, it's New Year's. It's like a New Year's prank. Yay! It's a trick from sir, the corporate office. Gen the generator... The corporate generator kicks in. Hello? Yeah. She hung up. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's got, that's got to be the worst break she's ever had. Yeah. So plenty of other fun stuff happened on the New Year's Eve Madhouse Live show. I'm sure Carlito will post it eventually. He always seems to be a month or two behind on posting his podcast episodes, but they'll be there eventually. And if you're a Patreon supporter of Madhouse Live at patreon.com slash madhouse, he gives you instant access to his shows, to his live shows. Like as soon as he goes off the air and saves the show file, it is immediately available to you. Like I completely missed the Thanksgiving show and he hasn't posted that one yet, but I've heard half of it already because I have access to his Patreon. Like he just has it show up on Dropbox, which automatically shows up on my computer. It's kind of awesome. So if you want to hear the entire New Year's Eve show right now and the Thanksgiving show, go to patreon.com slash madhouse and sign up. It's only a dollar a month. That's going to do it for this episode of the Snowplow Show. Thank you, Sim Speak, for being today's sponsor. And I guess we should have Arvibot thank the people from July of 2017, who I never got to mention back then for being sponsors because I'm always so far behind on the sponsors. Arvibot. Hello, okay, sponsors for July of 2017. Thank you, Pagan, Greg T, Derek J, Scott, Lion9, not Lion4, Brad, you idiot, Lion9, Meekish, Lisa Marie, El Diablo, James S4, Andrew Don Farquini, The Real Crazy Kraz, Preston S, Puraz, Brandon M, Rhapsody Man 2000, FOD87, King Eckbert, 
Luck Light, Rob Zombie Stark, High School Graduate, Daddy News, Jamie F, Matt Z, Robert S, Jason B, King, Richard Brown, Magic, Gobi, CNC Wizard, Teen Wolf, Jesus, Sean L, Miguel F, Dimamond, T, Worsty, Twenty Twenty, Ty A, Buster C, Richard K, Christopher, Anthony S, Julian J, William K, Todd L, and Lou, the X Factor. Oh yeah, and Philip B. Thanks, Arbybot. I needed a break from talking, you know. You're welcome. All right, that's the end of the show. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you next time. And that is when you'll go down on me. I really hated Mars Attacks. And every new Star Wars is whack. I'd love to enter you from the back. From the back. Natalie, Natalie. You're Jewish and that is why naturally. We should phone, but actually. I'll take a hand job. Natalie, Natalie. I heard you're dating Jake Janelle and me. But Moonlight Mile bombed tremendously. And the MI paid me a shitload. So, Natalie, Natalie, this is a song I wrote quickly. But one day I'll hold you carefully and finger you under a blanket. So, Natalie, Natalie, we'll work together so tremendously. But until we actually meet, I'll settle for a hand job. I love you. Good for you, you rude bastard.